What's up everybody, Paul Carl here. Today I'm gonna to show you how I use ChatGTP to help me sell cards online in conjunction with ChronoCard. And towards the end of the video, at the after this demo, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my strategy and how I'm pivoting my card selling business. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna notice right here is I have, a, this is a ChronoCard export. This is how it is formatted. And then here I have this uh, blank Excel sheet for called WooCommerce Upload. So I'm gonna use ChatGTP and some code and all this fancy stuff to um, generate my products from that ChronoCard export. So what this code is doing is it's taking all of the data from the ChronoCard spreadsheet and it's reformatting it into the format that WooCommerce wants for product uploads and what that's going to allow us to do is essentially scan cards with chrono card identify them put the proper information pricing all that good stuff and then when it's exported um, instead of uploading it to ebay we're going to upload it to our own website uh, using wordpress and woocommerce um, and while this is running here you can see i have it say finished a row every time it does one what it's doing in addition to um, formatting the data is it's also sending it's creating prompts and it's sending those prompts to chat gtp to get it to write a little summary for our product descriptions and then it's sending it back and then it's taking that um, ai generated content and using it for our product description so we don't have to write them for every single one and hopefully we can have something interesting all right so it's done now let's um we're going to pull this up and look at the woocommerce upload this this is what we just created with that script so we've got the card name here product types all the stuff these this is the interesting part these are just or the descriptions here so this is all good to go we don't have to do anything to it we're just going to go to our media library here I'm going to add media select files and we're going to go to desktop demo and i'm just going to upload these images to the website here do that in bulk and now um, we're gonna just kind of watch all these hit 100 percent um so i got fronts and backs for card these are the scans from chrono card using my um adf scanner the epson ds510 uh, so here we're gonna go to start import this is in the products under woocommerce we're gonna browse for csv this is the one built by our little script here we're gonna continue and just is confirming that everything matches. Um, so the products are being imported right now and now it's done. So now we can view the products that were added and I'm gonna open, I'm just gonna open two of them for us to look at. So the site's ugly, I'm still working on it. I wanna get the workflows done and I wanna get like a really nice filtering system set in place. But this is what the AI generated for us. Um, so, I mean, you can pause and read it if you want, but it's pretty cool. It's got like some information and stats about what what his season was like in this 1992 year. So I have the AI take the year and the player's name and just give create a little description, a little interesting blurb about what that player's career was like in 1992. And so that way, if I post you know another Matt Williams card from 1993, it'll have a different description because it's going to talk about the 1993 year, and that helps prevent. Um, duplicate content from being an issue um, and then here we can see another one it's got all of this information looks like we got a little error here with that qu that should be um, that should be an apostrophe so it's not perfect but I'm happy with it um, this is how I'm gonna add all the products to my store once I'm ready to do that I gotta get these designs tweaked and fixed up a little bit um, but yeah, so now that you've kind of seen this software in action here, we'll see, like, look at the shop, it'll put, it automatically categorizes it too. That's another cool thing, puts the prices in. Um, but yeah, so what's happened with my eBay store is I can't get beyond 100,000 active listings. Um, eBay used to have this policy where if you were like a top rated seller, you had really good stats and feedback and all that, they would give you extra free listings on top of your 100,000 with your anchor store. So you could just basically list cards indefinitely. And so they canceled that program right before I reached the point where I could have asked for it. And apparently the higher ups at eBay are, are very against bringing it back for whatever reason. 
So um, if you've seen my other videos, you've noticed that I have a script that also creates lots from Chrono Card. Um, so I've been doing lots of 9, 6, and 108. And um, 9 was what I started with just because it was like a nice 3x3 three three grid. Um, but I, I've been favoring the lots of 6 now instead because 6 cards is typically what I can comfortably fit into a single PWE for shipping. So lots of 6 have been kind of my bread and butter and then I've also been testing lots of 108 because then I can do that 9x9 nine nine grid of front and back cards and show every single card in the lot. And what I did with that was I created some player lots and some team lots and I, I actually sold both of the player lots that I tested and one out of the five team lots that I tested. Um, but overall, the trading card lots, I think, is definitely the way to go for eBay because you can move a higher volume of cards at a, at a um, higher price point, higher profit margin. Like if I sell six cards individually for, let's say, $1.99 for shipping, um, I'm making less money and doing more work than if I sell those same six cards. You know, instead of getting $12 in revenue for selling six cards, you know, to one pe one person six different times um, if I sell all six of those cards for like five bucks shipped um, it, I only have to ship it once they're all in the same spot um, in my inventory so I don't have to pick one card from one box go to another box pick another card and so on and so on um, and the, the profit margin is actually at five bucks it's either the same or a little bit higher than six dollar ninety nine cards so even though the revenue is cut by you know more than half the profit and the profit per hour goes up dramatically so to get the most value out of my ebay listings i'm just gonna, going to keep listing lots there and i've been auctioning off a lot of vintage cards but yeah the sell through rate on the lots is it's usually around 15 percent which is insane that's like tremendous one of the drawbacks of that though though and sorry for ranting here but one of the drawbacks of the player lots is if the cards don't already come in sorted by player or like sorted by team, you have to spend a lot of time doing that sorting yourself. And the way that I, I've i been getting cards in right now is a lot of them are sorted by set, either like complete sets or just like in boxes organized by set. Um, or I get them in by player or I just get like a complete random mix. So what I'm doing right now is the complete random mix stuff I'm kind of going through and cherry picking out cards from certain sets or just like certain cards that I think would be good singles or player lots for eBay. And then the rest of them, I'm just pushing them aside. And with the cards that come in as sets, sorted by set, I'm going to be listing those on my website using quantity listings in a stock photo. And um, for the cards that are sorted by player, I'm going to just do a bunch of player lots. And then anything vintage, I'm just auctioning off. But yeah, so this this is the new process for me for how to sell cards and list cards as quickly and as, as efficiently as possible. I would have just kept listing singles forever on eBay, but the the lack of listings and the three thousand dollar a month price point for the enterprise store makes it impossible to keep doing that strategy. So I had to pivot, and I looked at other platforms, and there, I haven't found any that I would be able to list to as efficiently as I can list to eBay. So then the next best, best option is to have my own website because I can list just as quickly to my website as I can to eBay using ChronoCard and these cool scripts. Um, but anyway, that's, that's kind of a little update on what I'm doing, what I'm working on. Um, one last thing I'll mention is that the I was trying to make that software for the macro and have people like be able to use it. I had some people test it and there's just too many too many issues is like the, the different if you have the wrong version of excel it won't work properly and it, it's just kind of become a nightmare and i don't really have the skill set to build software that can be used you know universally it takes a lot more than i thought <laughs> i thought it was a lot simpler like you could just put the code in and just runs on whoever's got whoever's computer but it, it's a little bit more complicated it turns out um so yeah let me know what you think about this idea